Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Back to Gunlocked tonight. Started this middle of the week last week, and we had a lot of fun with it. So we're going to keep going. I think we did just unlock um, one of these other pilots. I think Pyre, right? Because we had Badger, we had Artemis, we had Scout, we had Ram. And we're cleared with two of the five we've currently got unlocked. Um, Pyre starts with Sunstriker. Ooh, I think Sunstriker is one I really liked as far as a weapon goes. Because it does burning damage, blah, 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 that's good. Only charge time is granted two seconds of the overcharge, reducing all recharge timers to 90%. Killing enemies fills the hot streak meter 2.5%, taking damage reduces it 20%. Okay, so don't get hit. But yeah, let's uh, let's go with fire there and let's see what we can do here. Um, we can't turn off the built-in ones, right? Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. What do we want to try for here? Has there just been something we haven't used yet? Um, probably this one, which doesn't sound too interesting, actually. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Um, treasure Rapper, like an an asteroid can be targeted by other attacks. 200 bonus damage. Yeah, sure. Let's turn that one on. Um, I did like Space Net. That's a pretty good utility one. Um, Nano Repair was also pretty good. A good safe one. Phase Modulator, I believe, was also good. Power Converter was good. Uh, Jumper Cables. Next time you take damage, blah, blah, blah. There's sort of two shields recently. Blah, 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 blah. It's not bad. Right, let's give that a try. Uh, shield safe. And destroying enemy shields repairs two shields of your own. Oh, we haven't done that yet. We don't have that unlocked. Um, unstable core, I think we tried. That was a bit dangerous. Supply depot was fun. Antimatter engine was interesting and dangerous as well. Placeholder was kind of meh. I don't think we've had slag shot yet. Uh, Kinetta beam, I think, was fun. I used to have a 20% chance of draft scrap. Here, temporary drone of fire fish. Ooh, that sounds fun. Support strike also sounds fun. And some of these we don't have ready. All right, let's let's turn on the junk drone then. I think we're still limited to our first class of ships here, because um, these other ones I believe you have to do. Um, I was reading the Chivo description for these. You have to have a certain number of challenge trials turned on and complete uh, the relevant level. So we're gonna stick with our standard silver one for now. Um, maybe. Turn on a couple more of these? Sure, let's turn on that one, why not? Um, I don't think the rest we're ready to deal with just yet. Uh, well, maybe debris field as well, sure, why not? Oh, right, and then we're on to uh, Sector 3 here as well, which is fun. New, uh, new backdrop. New biome, new whatever, so let's go, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. But we're already, already got an upgrade in the credit. Card of electric effects and 10% chance, chance to apply burn. Uh, do we have any weapons here? No. Let's see if we can get a reroll of a weapon. No, nope. all utilities all the time. Uh, okay. Let's take that since we've got fire damage, I suppose, huh? The debris can't be destroyed. Oh, wait, it can, it can be destroyed, actually. Interesting. Alright, alright, let's see what else we got. Okay, there's a weapon. Uh, light rail is kind of a shitty weapon. <laughs> uh, spawns a mini phase shift somewhere in the battlefield, yada yada yada. No, okay, let's see if we can grab an actual weapon here. Uh, radar rate increases the number of lock ons. Okay, there's a weapon. Static surge. I did like static surge, I think. Gave us something we could use, like, almost immediately. Bunch so that we can just do this and... Right. Oh, but then, yeah, of course, there was the downside of having shit be, uh... A little, uh... A little bit dangerous since we get our weapons disabled for a bit. Unfortunate, but them's the brakes sometimes. was necessarily worth it, but we did it anyway. Oh, careful. Okay, 
we really need a a better weapon <laughs> and or a singular weapon any additional weapon really um okay yeah sentry drone will work there we go a little bit more damage output Watch out for that extra drone thing from collecting all these gears, but I don't remember what that is or what it does. Uh, backdraft is another weapon, yeah, okay. Pretty much anything that uh, does additional output. There we go, we just did something there. I don't know what it did though. Oh, there it is. It's up there. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's beef up our weapons as best we can. We can grab some utilities, too. If we get something that um, improves our burn damage output, that would be ideal. Okay, free upgrade to the backdraft thing. So Magnetosphere is actually good, too. The tract radius, always quite nice. I have to get all up in some business to get the new shit, right? for. Uh, extra homing extra projectile to all non-homing projectiles. Um, yes, please. Alright, should probably try to fight towards the top of the screen, too, since we've got backdraft going on. chance an enemy dies to projectiles blah 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 actually yeah more shit flying around the screen that'll help me some of that. Oh, 
Oh, we are quite nearly dead. Interesting. I don't know what bopped me there to cause that. Oh! I thought I was still invincible. I still had the little meter down there. Oh, don't! <laughs> Ah, well. Ah, well. Yeah, there are definitely times and places for the standard one-hit-you-die type shmups, right? Absolutely, I get that. But I'm glad this one is more strategic in that regard. Like, you can take hits and it's not the end of the world. Which is always kind of nice. Blah blah blah. Feedback with uh, search no, let's Go for weapons first, right? Oh, or uh, making a sphere is fine too. and damage an enemy, all enemies in an area are burned. Do we have any beam weapons? Oh, I guess Sunstriker counts as a beam weapon, huh? Uh, yeah, let's go with that for now. How you doing? Good to see you. I probably like not having the static surge one actually, because this doesn't you know, to kind of try to kit around our temporary weapon disablement. I think we're gonna want something that's non-homing. Also, prefer oh damn, nice. Also preferably things a bunch here. much. Let's beef up what we got here. We're gonna try to lean into fire damage, I suppose. Uh, 
Attack 3C again. Uh, a burning target launches a 10 damage missile. Okay, yeah, sure. It's leaning into fire if ever I've seen it. Probably be good for boss fights, actually. last weapon slot until we get something pretty cool. Not, not sure what I'm waiting for, but I want it to be better than the uh, starter dude's little radar sweeper thing. weapon. Better kit it out for this one. Seem to be at a slightly less good spot in terms of repair potential here. All we've got really is the passive regen. get the other, the other, uh, orbitals. Hell yeah, those were always cool. That's electric, not fire, but it's something. Honestly puts out the paint pretty good. Once we get it beefed up, too.
this point. Once you hit a critical mass of good enough weapons, the upgrades come fast and furious. more a dance of getting all the pickups before they disappear. And or dealing with any sort of larger groups that might be problematic. At this point, we're really putting out enough where we're not in any serious danger, more or less. Except if we do a dumb like that, I guess. Okay, there was a repair. We haven't seen a whole lot of those. Super dumb. We're looking pretty good for this run here. Even with the extra stuff we turned on. Another one real quick here. Bonk. a second boss here soon. This guy is a little beefier than before. Ouch! Okay, did that hit me? I guess it kind of did. Hard to tell, though. <laughs> Okay, that might have also... Oh, yeah, we are taking quite a few hits here. Uh, let's not do a dumb and die. That would be unfortunate. Oh, like, almost here. Eh. Could use a repair somewhere. No, vulnerable's fine too, I guess. There we go. That also works. We did turn off the free heals after boss kills, so that's gonna leave us in a slightly precarious position. Until we get a, a legitimate repair thing at some point. Ouch. 
Also, ouch. There's one. It's gonna take forever. No, nope. okay, good. Uh, yeah, it's up our orbitals a bit, huh? Another freebie. <laughs> That's the last one for that. Okay, very good. There's something going on there. <laughs> okay, let's get that rolling here. that was that um, does something with their little EMP mine things. That might be a good one to grab in some run here. So these are getting a little thick and dense. Jeez. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sure. <laughs> There's a repair thing I didn't want to miss. I'm up about a minute away from the last boss here. because I want to see how much that does behind us. Doesn't seem to be doing much right now. Make it not such a good choice for next time. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> All right, let's put that up to full. Ooh, dang, that's a that's a sizable little fucker up at the top, huh? <laughs> Spare a, a glance at his health meter because shit's popping off too much here. There goes the right hand side, finally. Okay, and there goes the left. <laughs> gotten this far. <laughs> Too late, it's dead. <laughs> Excellent. We did it! He shits on three. <laughs> I think that's our first uh, 100,000 plus score as well. Excellent. Um, we didn't pop uh, any other pilots, did we? No, what do we need to do? Beat any zone with at least two electric weapons. Okay. Two electric weapons, all right. Well, I do enjoy the the fire weapons more, but electric is okay, too. All right, well, that's three of the five we've got unlocked. Um, let's go with, uh, I guess that's Badger there, huh? Pulse cannon and an auto turret? Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Um, nano repair is good. Like, let's, let's do kind of clean sweep here. Uh, duration of power. Support strike. Hell yeah, support strike. Um, I did like supply depot as well. And um, I guess Kinoto Beam, because we tend to move around a lot. Uh, we still got the standard ship. Uh, can we turn on a little more? Enemy energy projectiles, EMPs, gas clouds deal double damage. Um, sure. Why not? Let's turn that one on. We can go to the final zone. Ooh, look at that. It's gonna be all three boss fights in a row, isn't it? Oh no, that's the endless that's the endless mode. Okay, hey, sure. Let's go. Neat. Um after rounds activate when all weapons and utilities are at max level, enemy shields increase by 5% of base shields every minute after 15. Maybe collision damage increases 10% of base damage every minute after 20. Damn. Okay, cool. I was curious if there was going to be an endless mode. I'm super happy that there is. Oh, it looks like it didn't take any of our trials, though. So, um, it's just going to be basic stuff. Um, uh, that's for a weapon. Alright, sentry drone is always a pretty good weapon, honestly, to start. This pulse cannon is quite unreliable. As it stands, really. Or maybe it would be more reliable if I wasn't bopping around so often. Let's try the shock bomb. I don't think we've tried the shock bomb yet. Oh, that's what the shock bomb was, I guess. Bonk. Okay. 
look like it doesn't do any damage. Oh yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. Hard to tell. Thought it would just uh, stun them for a bit there. without repairs, I guess. Oh, Sunstriker is fine. As ley lines are considered... Oh, are not considered electric. Next three lock-on stun enemies for 20 deal. Okay, lean into electrical damage, I suppose. Christmas shopping going. I don't really do Christmas shopping. <laughs> so one could say it's going great. It's done. <laughs> On account of not doing any really. Um, I suppose my my Christmas gifts to myself were really my new laptop and my Steam Deck, honestly. Those I got a couple months earlier. It's kind of a a pretty non-trivial year for new tech purchases for me. Which is good, because my previous laptop no longer functions, and Steam Deck is actually pretty cool. Which I was pleasantly surprised at. Wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, but um, it's quite a handy little device. Um, what do we got here? Uh, there's Kinetoshield. Oh, Kinetoshield. Yeah, 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 yeah. An electric carving knife shaped like a chainsaw. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Uh, our surgeon effects of power up, blah, blah, blah. Force, uh, do I have any force weapons? I don't. Mm, Sideline was kind of a meh weapon to begin with. Eight seconds, your next force effect triggers a thing. Oh, I think our a little electric utility counts as a force weapon. Sure. Uh, well... Yeah, sure. Why not? saying about what after mods were after we upgrade something all the way, right? Then we start getting some real gnarly shit after there. Guess that would track, huh? This will take a bit yet since our uh, stuff isn't quite that upgraded. We're about three and a half minutes in, so I wouldn't expect it to be, right?
Oh, right, the uh, flame shotgun thing, essentially, right? No, we're really looking for another electric weapon, because that's what we need for, um, for to unlock the other normal pilot, I think. Two electric weapons, or beat a run with two electric weapons, right? Oh, wait, we're playing on Endless, so I don't know if that beating a run is going to apply here, is it? That might be a small problem. <laughs> uh, okay, there's the pulse gun upgrade. A beacon appears in a random location and fires five energy beams toward your ship over three seconds. Uh, okay, sure. That's a different weapon we haven't seen before. Try anything once, you yeah. know? Oh, I see. It's up there. Wild. Weird little weapon. Hmm. Hopefully that gets a lot better once you upgrade it, because that was kind of lackluster. bits there. Enamored with that last beacon weapon we got there, what which shoots little tiny beams. Doesn't seem to do much. Maybe after it gets upgraded a bit, it'll uh, it'll wow me. here. We are not putting out nearly as much as we should be. Another pulse, two damage per pulse. Yeah, okay, let's start beating that up. Maybe once it gets, like, Super powered, it'll be, uh, be better to use. As it stands right now, it's really not doing much for me. That 
collection bit is fully up now. Better recharge time on it now, okay. It's kinda slow as is, so good I guess. Big fuck off chargey beam thing really. Could stand to do more as well. Right, we've got the little mini power-up things going on, too. I was wondering why some of them lasted longer than others. I would explain it, wouldn't I? Yeah, because the ones we pick up out of little power-up ships are the, the real deal, and then we randomly generate it. Other tinier power-ups for, I forget the condition. <laughs> that was one of our little starting augment things that we picked. Sentry orbital thing doing essentially double output. Now we're talking. Another half second of iframes. Oh, projectiles on that one, sure. Oh, hey, now it's a double. Excellent. <laughs> wondering if that was going to be simultaneous or... yeah, okay, that's that's good. It's like the, the third level upgrades are usually when stuff comes into its own, it looks like. We got the double projectiles on our little sentry orbital, we got the double projectiles on our shock bomb things. Soon. There we go. All right, now we're talking. Um, was that considered blitz bomb, or is that something else? I guess. I guess it's this one, yeah? Just the full screen clear nuke ones are super good as well. Problematic boss to deal with.
<laughs> there we go. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. All right, that was a much better boss kill. Love to see it. All right, so once we finish this last last five minutes, then we'll be into sort of unknown, I guess, since we're on endless and all. Now we should be really getting some cool stuff. Just a hot five minutes away. Oh, but then that's when the enemies start getting beefier, though, too, right? The extra 5% health and then the extra 10% damage output or something like that, whatever it was. I forget the exact numbers. Which is fine, like, we haven't really gone below, I think, maybe 90% health in this run, so I think we're doing okay. Staying then being a little bit more difficult. time. I'll see what we can do for max level on the little thin laser pulse thing. So I am curious to see what it does. <laughs> this one's two conduit beacons. Okay, there's the double up I was looking for. Excellent. Makes it a little bit more interesting of a weapon, for sure. Excellent. Now we're talking. Oh, we're gonna get a third of the shock bombs now? Oh, that's super cool. <laughs> I don't think the damage output is that great, but the fact that it does a little tiny stun is pretty cool. But here, this orbital is doing serious work. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Goodness. Oh, that one's the um, utility one. I thought that was my main shock bomb weapon. Okay. Well, it's fine. There, I think we had our shield up though, so it was literally no threat. Ow. Alright, now, now it starts. Alright, 15 minutes plus, now shit starts getting real, maybe. <laughs> a non-trivial number of enemies going on here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> That's funny as hell. We must be getting to the end of our upgradable shit then soon if they're popping nothings at us.
<laughs> Down to just powering up our basic bitch weapon now. Which I guess is pumping out a little bit of extra damage? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Probably not doing nearly as much as everything else, though. Those fellas, those strong motherfuckers. right about the little extra laser beam things. Those are doing a pretty good job of clearing stuff out at random for me. <laughs> but it did take all five upgrades of it to pay off. Collect a gem, you have 50% chance to gain 25% more experience. Never left worth less than one extra gem you when collecting a gem is normally one. All power ups also trigger a mini overclock. Enemy is destroyed, another random enemy takes five damage. Oh hell yeah, gimme. <laughs> Fucking gimme. Alright, now we're talking. Time to do some serious work. seconds of force explosion triggers knocking back all enemies for eight seconds deal 300 damage for an asteroid 20 percent maximum current shields all incoming damage reduced by one hey all right defensive options are cool cool too i guess Asteroids are beefing up too somehow. <laughs> These beefy motherfuckers. Thick with two C's. Every 10 seconds, fire 25 damage projectile forward in a random direction. Upgrades that rotate around you move 30% faster. Uh, hmm. Let's go for the heavy metal. Another random proc one that'll help me out of a jam, probably. Additional level 1 weapon to your equipment. It cannot be upgraded. Aw. Uh, shock around nearby enemy for 10 damage every 2 seconds. All upgrades that have a percent chance effects now have plus 5%. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> Next 
extra shit popping off, extra shit coming in. not taking any damage here. Oh, there, finally. <laughs> wow, that's a hell of a hell of an opening interlude there, buddy. Asteroids to protect himself. That's not fair. Come on, man. <laughs> the gas missiles and shit. damage. Stay the heck away from all of that, please. Ow. Luckily that Kinito shield has been pretty good at uh, stopping most of the nasty stuff. stuff now, okay. I'll pick up instantly spawn, one phase shift, one overclock, one auto repair, two nukes, and two gleaming cubes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, sure, fine, okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, I cleared out the place <laughs> and got our next one. Every 20 seconds, next asteroid destroyed drops a mini. Every six seconds, fire 30 damage beam at a non-asteroid enemy behind your ship. Or increase 5% base chance. Okay. I just popped the Chivo for something, but I couldn't spare a moment to look at what it was. Rotation, additional weapons, sure. It's not gonna be much, but damage output at this point. Oh, it's the ley mine thing. So actually, that's probably one of the best ones I could have. Probably one of the best ones I could have had. Considering. also trigger overclock. Hell yeah. I mean, overclock is really the, the 
of star doing maximum output here. Now that we've got eight after mods, is that the end of it? Do we no longer get them, I wonder? Mm, looks like we're not hitting any other additional level ups. Okay. I guess that tracks. Don't want us to be too powerful and all that. dive in for uh, additional gems and shit. I guess it is our score, though, so I'll probably do that anyways. We'll do it, yep. <laughs> Not bad, though. <laughs> okay, but that didn't... It didn't proc the next, um... Pilot unlock, though, right? Because we need to actually complete a run with two electric weapons. Oops. Um, yeah, yeah. Um... Light rail is kind of shitty, but we'll start with her anyways. Um, but -a -but -a -but -a oh, kept my previous uh, stuff from the last run I did with her. Um, I don't like the antimatter engine. Did we unlock any of these other ones? No. some more stuff now since we've got our legs under us. First one, I suppose. That'll be our easiest clear, perhaps. Jeez, I can't even fucking. with another weapon, huh? Come on. It's something. Eh. Or the tractor bit's fine, too. Oh, 
Is that all the little explodey thing does? That's not really that... That's not that threatening. Um, okay, yeah, Shock Bomb is considered electric. That one's good. Once we get it beefed up a little bit. Better, it's in the name. chance to bounce. No. 100% chance the enemy dies. I think I did like that one, though, huh? Because extra... extra possible bullets just flying out. Electric or fire damage. Full triggers the power that makes all damage sources. Uh huh. Well, they're leaning into electric, so that doesn't make sense. Force effects have a 40% chance to burn. We don't have any force, I don't think. Really do need to start beefing up our main weapons here, though. This is kind of pathetic output. Shock bomb. Thank <laughs> you. 
could slip my way through there. damage dealers for me. If we get the, maybe the electric orbital drone things, like those would pretty much complete our electric lean-in. Guys, so burning. We don't. We're not leaning into burning, are we? Yeah, uh, let's roll up that. that. Sun striker would be nice, but no, we're gonna look for those electro orbitals. a 10% chance to burn. Okay, yeah, it's electric synergy if ever I've seen it. <laughs> now we're ready. Popping mines down here, stop it.
Oh! What the hell is that? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were on our way, but let's retry that one. some fire first, because honestly, having no other output besides this light railgun is not great. that it's the fixed distance one up top there. Just it does burning damage. Last two weapon slots for electrics here. show up here. Thank you. 
an electric either. Damn it. <laughs> Oof. Running out of uh, choices here. Try to hold out for it. There we go, finally. Okay, one. to lean into before we need to fill that last slot. particular I was looking for. Alright, now we're good. Should be.
matter now at this point which ones we upgrade and when. Probably favor the orbitals over everything else. And then I go ahead and slam my butt into a rock. Good job. Okay, I think I will turn off one of those augments. The, um, net catcher thing. There's something a lot better we can do. Um, probably nano repair. Yeah. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> it's not that this is particularly difficult, I'm just being impatient. Starting good weapon, right? Even if it is a little bit delayed. to extra shit, too, from the asteroids. Uh, uh, oh, electric or fire. Well, good thing we have both.
railgun is considered a beam weapon, not much else though. Ugh, gross. Uh, is that electric? That is. Okay, good enough. Have to go with it. there.
<laughs> um, crap. Ah, damn it. Well, we got time for one more go. One more attempt at it. start when you're just going for a certain set of weapons. And with the right ones immediately.
shit right away? No, of course not. like it. charge. It's unfortunate. before we get that fourth one for electric here.
Peter's good enough, I guess. since we are at low health again. Thank you. 
into the fucking front of it. Ah, uh, shit. Mm. Well, okay, I think we'll call it there for tonight, then. Got a clear, got a pretty okay endless run. Um, we just need to unlock that last pile, and then we'll see what the unlock condition is for the final one. That should be fun. Alright, well, we're still having fun with this, so we will continue this on Wednesday. Um, so that'll do it for tonight. Next stream, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST, more gun locked. Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST, it'll be a shmup book club. So more Hyper Duel or Kai Khan or any of the five, uh, fifth anniversary SBC shmups. Friday this week is podcast, so twitch.tv slash zero R productions, 7, uh, 7 p.m. CST. For insert credits, we talk about video game news, what we've been playing, and, uh, do some design at the end. Saturday we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, be long play, so more Curse of the Dead Gods. Really good, really good. Alright, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.